In this tutorial, I'll quickly explain how to set up Anitin for free. It's completely free. You get, you know, three months free on AWS. And then it's a very nominal charge that you have to pay to self-host AWS Anitin instance. So some context. So Anitin also has got pricing plans. Uh, they ask you to pay, you know, 20 euros, 50 euros a month or so and so operations. But there's also a way to self-host Anitin, which is, you know, fairly affordable option if you want to run automations on scale. So let's do that in this video. So there are a few things that you need to do to be able to set up Anitin. So you need to create an AWS account. Again, creating an AWS account is fairly easy. I just sign up for an AWS account and then set up light cell instance. We will run some SSS commands and then we'll set up some firewall rules into the networking tab and then SSS our Anitin instance will be live. So let's do the steps one by one. So if you create an AWS account, just go to the sign up link. They do uh, require you a credit card, but they don't charge you. But don't worry, you're not going to get charged and bombarded with a lot of invoices. It's for just the verification purpose so they, they only charge you for the verification and then they give you free credit so you can use that for one or one complete year so you don't get charged that's for sure and then once you have an aws account we'll do some basic steps which is so i happen to have an aws account i am actually logged into my aws account so the next step is setting up the aws light cell instance so what we will do is use light cell service light cells are actually a service that is you know uh, ec2 wrapper basically it's just very good service that lets you host servers so if i go to light sale i already have a light sales service over here so what you need to do is basically choose os as ubuntu take an example of 24.04 which is the latest version of ubuntu so if you create an instance you create an instance you do linux and then operating system only you choose ubuntu this one uh, which is 24.04 lts by the by the time this like at the time of this recording this was 24.04 but this should fairly work for any other operating system as well and then you basically you know just select the pricing plan so for an instance i recommend you to you know go with let's say seven dollars or twelve dollars because uh, it's the bare minimum that you can uh, have to run aws and instance properly so if you see first 90 days are completely free so you will not get charged for anything any any single instance but i recommend you to get at least you know seven dollars a month or twelve dollars a month uh like sell instance so let's do uh, you know twelve dollars a month because i want this instance to be used for my agency operations so let's add instance name which is n10 instance you can put anything whatever you want click on create instance so this creates an instance now basically uh, you know you have, can go to the next steps so we need to run few sss commands uh, in the instance terminal so if you go to the instance this is getting started it will take some time for us to you know boot this up okay now we have this running what we'll do is we will basically log into the console you can click on this icon it logs into the console so connecting to your instance and now it will connect to the instance okay we have this instance you know running uh, ignore completely all the information that is over here you can press clear which is completely clear this and now we'll set up you know our Anitin instance over here so what we need to do is basically do sudo i option i to get to the root access so if i do sudo option i it gives me root access so it has turned to root and now i need to install easy panel so easy panel is actually you know a server panel control which lets you deploy application manage database and provision ssl certificates in a very intuitive way so again very easy uh, you just follow the steps copy this command go to the terminal and then just paste this command over here enter and then it should install install the easy panel it takes some time for you to install okay it's doing okay, it's downloading the entire easy panel okay this is done now you see this at the bottom easy panel what installed on your server and this is the server url basically if we go and type this up okay and the browser see this is copy copy and paste it up to your server okay so this will not run actually i'll tell you why this is not running so you need to do a few things after you know you set up easy panel so let's do that okay so basically what you need to do is you need to set up some firewall rules in the light cell networking tab to be able to you know get the easy panel ui so what you do is go to your instance over here and then you go to click on the instance you see a networking tab over here go to this networking tab and then what you need to do is basically add a new rule so let's add a new rule this is basically a custom tcp rule at port 3000 whatever port that you mention over here we know whatever port that you're trying to access over here so let's do that and then create so once this is created it should be good for opening so now you have the entertain ui over here which is this one that's taking some time for total okay there you go so basically set up easy panel so now what we need to do is basically set up easy panel and then we'll install an item so let's do the installation for easy panel create an account for my agency which is growth agency at gmail.com 
will just type anything okay google setup and then it should send you email okay so now i have this on my easy panel if i see this what you need to do is now our second step is done this first step is also done so you also need to allow https for 4443 for na10 so this is for easy panel but now you need to add 4433 for na10 as well so if you go to the networking tab again add rule and then let's say https over here uh, and then this should also be working for na10 instances that you will create now this is done so let's go to the next step okay so now what you need to do is once we created the easy panel you know login you need to create a project and then add service select and so create a project name it as n10 project okay create i'll just go with n10 create okay so now you need to do a service and then you need to select an a10 over here so click on an a10 and now what we'll do is this is actually the version number of the n10 that we are using make sure you know you don't change this up because for some regions for some versions this might not work but you know keep this version as it is you can also try for latest but don't change this version for IMB. okay let's create a, then now you can also you know uh, change the name over here which is n10 you know let's say growth rise agency n10 server okay and now create so n10 was created and then go to project so now it's trying to boot up n10 and it's trying to install n10 server to my server okay this is done now you need you know basically it will try to execute and migrate all of the things that we have over here now editor is now available on you no know, 5678 port what you need to do is basically deploy and then this is gonna get us the url that you want so if you check over here in the console and then you have this which is click on the link you get the n10 link over here so this this is my n instance so now i'll just log in using my account over here so you just need to create an account on n and then check this next will take some time okay there you go now i have my n instance running on aws instance okay so i'll just select you know few things over here let's say linkedin and then get started okay so there's also one more thing you can get paid features for free that to forever using this free activation key that gets sent to your email so what you need to do is by default whatever email that you have just click on send me a free license key and then it should give you a license key to this email so if you go to your email so go to the email and then you should get a free and attend license key just activate this license click if you want to activate license key and you will have your account activated which is your own community edition registered so this is it. so basically you can have unlimited number of active workflow so you don't need to pay for an attend instance you know anymore on any other you know provider you can pretty much self-host it up and create uh, automations by the way i run an automation community wherein i teach how to make money with ai agents how to build apps with ai or using cursor so make sure you join the community and thanks for watching the video